Coach, how did you kind of assess the, the first fall ball that you guys had? You had some good work in, and most importantly, they got to play outside this time. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, it was uh, it was big for all of us. We talked last week, and uh, we got to put in our system and, and put that all in. We got to evaluate the program, what we had, what we didn't, what we're having to recruit. Um, and then it's a relationship building piece that we're building relationships with the players and it's vice versa. They're getting to know us and we're getting to know them a little bit. Um, there's a lot more work to do, but I feel pretty good at where we're at right now. Had a really good mixture of, of returning talent and some high-end players too, like JT Ginn, some of those guys that uh, a lot of those guys looked and kind of felt college ready. Just how did how did you see those two mesh? I thought it was good. I mean, we do have a lot of older guys. It's just a, it's a new coaching staff, new system, so they're learning too. I mean, some of them are learning for, you know, the fourth system for four years, but it was good. And then they help the younger guys out. We do have a very talented uh, incoming class, so I'm thinking a lot of those guys will really help us. And some of them are young freshmen, but some of them are JUCO players that have a chance to help us too. So um, I like the chemistry of where we're at. Coming out of fall, do you, do you kind of, in your mind, know who your starting nine would be? That sort of deal? Is there still a whole lot of still a lot of fighting to be done when, when, when practice opens up in February? Yeah, you know, we don't have a ton of depth, so there is a good point that you know who your center fielder is going to be or who your right fielder is going to be. Uh, we're trying to develop in some areas um, some different lineups. You know, who can play here? So we're doing a lot of that right now. Who can play second? Who can play third? Who could play left field if we had a, a possibility there? Um, we do have a pretty older lineup, but you have to show up every day and earn it too. So um, the pitching staff's where a lot of the competition is right now. Um, we got a couple established guys, but a lot of them, you know, are here for the first time trying to win a job. Who did you try at second and third? Well, we have Justin Foskey played a lot of third. And he also played a lot of second. So um, Landon Jordan, a freshman, had a really good fall, and uh, we played him in second. And he wasn't really good. And we played him at third, and he was really good. So sometimes you have to figure that out. I think he would tell you that. But he had a really – I think he led us in hitting all fall. And he's got a chance to be a really good player. Um, at second base, Gunnar Halter played there some. Um, Anthony Hickman played there some. Uh, Tanner Allen, we've made that switch and tried to play there and, and play some guys at first. So we're trying to develop a little bit of chemistry to where we could play a couple different lineups. Um, because, like I said, our depth's not great, especially in the middle of the infield. Do you know, have you have, do you have an idea of what your strengths on this team will be? I, I think um, some, some of that older leadership, I think, the grittiness our team's really played. Even in the World Series, it's like everybody stepped up and played a, l a little bit better. There's some veteran guys. Um, I think we'll be pretty good offensively, one to nine. I think especially when you can lead off with one of the better leadoffs in the country and, and, and stack some guys around them. Um, and I think our pitching. I think our starting pitching, we'll really need to find out our bullpen piece, but I think our starting pitching, uh, we have four or five really good candidates possibly to get out there and, and get us deep into games. Where did JT fit into this, um, pitching-wise? <laughs> Uh, probably one of the starters. I mean, he had a really good fall. I think he had one rough outing, but uh, his other outings were really good, very talented. Um, he's working as a position player, too, so he's played some second, some short, some third. We just got to take care of his arm in between, so that makes it tough. But he um, he's fighting for one of those starting jobs. You mentioned the bullpen pieces. How close are our Spencer Price and Riley Self to be on schedule to be back in spring? The, I, I would think when we get started, Riley will be full speed with us. Um, and then Spencer will be, you know, he's working every day. I think he had a bullpen Friday, so he's still on track with everything, uh, knock on wood, but he looks pretty good. The arm action looks clean, and um, you know we're excited to get him back in the mix. What about Tristan Barlow? He's another one that sits out. He's close. He's kind of working with Spencer right now. They're bullpen days, just trying to get them back. I think we'll have, you know, by the time we get to early spring, we'll have all the um, knock on wood back in the mix. What are the numbers like right now as far as – what you have to cut down where you are right now is as a yeah, we, we got a couple guys that we got to make decisions on. Um, you know, here, you know, two or three situation. But like I said, we don't have a real, real deep roster, so it's not a, not a lot of cuts in that world. But we do have to make some uh, decisions here in the next week or maybe by the time the season gets here. What are they doing right now as far as, uh, I mean, are they, are they working on their own? Like, what's the, what's the protocol between So now we set up a lot of individual development right now. So we're working with some hitters. Some bunners, some defenders, some pitchers, uh, trying to attack some weaknesses during this time of year. And then we, we take a, the bulk of it and we put it in the weight room. So a lot of our pitchers aren't throwing and we're lifting. Hitters, we're, we're lifting and running. Uh, we take this next six weeks to try to get off the field a little bit and uh, build those bodies back up and get them strong. Is it hard to sort of keep your guys' goals 
like on on the forefront of everyone's mind during this time, or what is no, that? Like? I think so. It, one, it lets them get a little bit of time away. We're off on the weekends. Uh, we do a little charity work, try to get out and do, um, but it's not as much baseball. I kind of want them to get away from it, um, get their body strong, get away from the game, because uh, when we get back here after after Christmas, it, it's 100% baseball, and they got to be ready to go. And so, um, uh, you know, we do we have we meet eight once a week and talk, but we. Um, are their goals just to get a little bit better right now? You're about three weeks away or so from the early signing period. Uh, how is that shaping up right now? It's good. It's good. It's been a it's been a whirlwind in, in that world, coming over, taking over a class, trying to find out what you need, find those pieces. Our staff has done a great job. Jake Gotro, Scott Foxall, Kyle Cheesebro, just all the recruiting weekends. We've had a lot of kids through here, and uh, they all look up at that stadium with their mouth open, so it's nice. Um, it's exciting, but it'll be fun putting that class together. Who got time at first base other than Hatcher? Hatcher and Tanner Allen. Okay. Tucker Childers a little bit. We have some other guys who could play over there, but for the most part, even JT Ginn played over there a little bit. So we have some guys who could play, you know, but mainly Tanner and Josh Hatcher. So with so many options in, in the infield, is the race for designated hitter going to be one of the more hotly contested ones on this roster? I think it could be. I mean, I, I think um, it's going to be a matchup piece. So who's matching up? How are we playing? Who's hot? Um, it's hard to be the everyday DH all year long. I mean, we have a couple catchers you can hit a little bit too. So we're we're fighting that world behind the plate, and um, you know I just think it's the matchup piece. Dustin was a little dinged up too. Speaking of catcher, wasn't he? Yeah, he was out a couple weeks, but he came back, played at the end, had a really. I, I've been really impressed with him. I mean, he, he's done a nice job of handling our staff, uh, competed offensively, and so uh, I like where he's at right now.